United States may have just revealed its most powerful fighter on Instagram. On July 1st, Lockheed Martin posted a series of images to its official Instagram account in celebration of the 80th anniversary of the firm's legendary Skunk Works division. The division responsible for many of the revolutionary aircraft, Lockheed, has produced most of the simple drawings posted on Instagram, representing groundbreaking aircraft designed and fielded by the Skunk Works over the past eight decades. Still, the final image didn't resemble any jet Lockheed Martin released in the past. Many have theorized that this strange but futuristic drawing may be of the sixth generation aircraft under development in the NGAD program, a fighter jet slated to replace the F-22 Raptor. Join us as we discuss this new NGAD stealth fighter jet that the U.S. is testing. The U.S.'s sixth generation program, NGAD, tasked with developing the future generation family of systems, is built to ensure air superiority for U.S. forces in the most challenging operational environments. This new family of systems will possess several high-end features, including new sensors, weapons, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other technologies all led by the sixth generation fighter referenced in Lockheed Martin's Instagram post. Although the majority of these features are yet to be declared in full detail due to the secretive nature of this program, there have been a couple of hints about the monstrous capabilities of the fighter jet program. Let's take a quick look at some of the speculated capabilities of this machine. The stealth advancement is a feature that has only existed in one generation of fighters, but the sixth generation program shows that it is here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct vertical stabilizers. This is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a revolutionary change in design. Until the concept of active flow control became a thing in the $2 billion B-2 spirit, vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne. Along with building stealthy aircraft, the U.S. has also built this new generation of aircraft with an open architecture. From history, the U.S. has learned that there is always room for improvement of an aircraft, no matter how advanced it already is. Especially with close adversaries becoming more powerful by the day. As a result, the NG-8 fighter will come with an open architecture that enables it to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. With this feature, the fighter will constantly adapt to new battlefield challenges introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the sixth generation ng fighter can be upgraded to become the seventh generation ng fighter years after it's fielded. Despite being an upgradable stealthy aircraft, the ng fighter requires a wide range of weapons, making it a high-end combat machine. The ng fighter is expected to be armed to the teeth with the widest array of advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. Combined with this array of weapons, each fighter will be accompanied by two loyal wingmen drones to perform submissions according to the orders of the manned fighter. This is information gotten from the Air Force Secretary, Frank Kendall III. As if that's not enough, this war beast will be coupled with even more tools that allow it to process relevant information about its surroundings and act based on this information, making it a force to be reckoned with. Imagine an aircraft with two artificially intelligent wingmen that is also capable of reading its environment by itself. This fighter is fitting to wield the most advanced sensors and weapons to come out of the U.S. These sensors will come with maximum connectivity. In part, thanks to the Air Force doing away with radars mounted on the aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. Information acquired by the fighter sensors will be made available to other members of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not, to keep the entire fleet of friendlies abreast of relevant information in real time. This not only makes the NGAD fighter a formidable machine, but also makes other fighters around more dangerous as well with this close to limitless information sharing. 
While all of these capabilities are enough to salivate over and be wowed by, there is a huge factor that must be considered if they would ever come to fruition. Money. The jet is estimated to cost a whopping $300 million per piece, and the Air Force reportedly needs 200 of them. Despite these high numbers, there are reasons why the NG-80 fighter is such a great deal for the Air Force, and here are those reasons. One of the most crucial differences between the NG-80 fighter and previous top-tier jets is how the new fighter is being designed to operate alongside a bevy of AI-enabled drone wingmen. Now, these wingmen aren't going to be there just for fancy, but will use onboard AI to allow them to complete tasks as assigned by the pilot on board the NGAD fighter. With their addition, the fighter jet's sensor range could be extended when they fly out ahead. They could also increase their payload capabilities by engaging targets on their behalf, and even their survivability by absorbing missiles aimed at them. A reasonable sacrifice to protect the main jet. This manned-unmanned teaming of a single-man fighter accompanied by about two loyal wingmen could give the U.S. the same operational capability as an entire fleet of older manned air superiority fighters, such as the F-15 Eagle and F-22 Raptor. So although a single NGAD fighter may cost the same as multiple units of its predecessors, it also comes with capabilities equal to those multiple units of older jets, and then much more. Another reason is a cost comparison between the production of the NGAD fighter and the older generation fighters. What exactly is the difference? Well, the development of new F-22 Raptors would cost $330 million. Many have questioned the wisdom of developing and fielding an entirely new air superiority fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor at all. After all, despite being the first and oldest stealth fighter on the planet, it remains the stealthiest and arguably the most dominant of the bunch. So instead of the government spending fortunes on a new jet, why not just build more F-22s? Smart question, but the Air Force is way ahead of you. Back in 2017, the Air Force commissioned a secretive study into just how much restarting F-22 production would cost. The conclusions of this report turned out to be bad news for the fans of the F-22. Because much of the F-22 production line was cannibalized for F-35 production after the Raptor's cancellation, restarting the production line would mean establishing new production infrastructure practically from scratch. This means a batch of 194 new F-22 Raptors would cost approximately $62.5 billion in today's money averaging $330 million per fighter. So if the U.S. were to restart Raptor production today, each Raptor would likely cost the same as the modern 21st century NGAD fighter that would no doubt be more advanced than the Raptor. So why not just go with the modern 21st century NGAD fighter? Thirdly, the F-35 original unit cost exceeds $330 million today. Having already set the Pentagon back $400 billion and projected to cost $1.7 trillion over the jet service life, the F-35 currently holds the record for the most expensive military program in history. Today, the F-35 is the most widely used stealth fighter on the planet, and so this massive cost is now being shared with the other 16 nations whose militaries also feel the F-35. Thanks to this laundry list of customers and high production volume, the F-35 has a unit cost as low as $80 million. However, this wasn't always the case. Back when the F-35 began its production run in 2007, each fighter was significantly more expensive, reaching up to a whopping $331.5 million per airframe in today's money. This was far more than the Pentagon hoped for, but the F-35 was the most technologically advanced fighter of its time, and so the Pentagon had to go ahead with it. When the NGAD fighter enters service, it would no doubt be the most technologically advanced of its time and also the most dominating air superiority fighter ever, unseating both the F-35 and F-22 from their respective thrones. With both the F-35 and F-22, 
costing a fortune themselves with their $300 million unicost range, it's no crime for their more advanced sixth-generation cousin to cost about as much as they do. That is simply the going rate for air dominance. Air dominance ain't cheap, it's never been and probably never will be. If there's one country that's used to that fact by now, it's the U.S. with record-breaking defense budgets every year. The U.S. has understood the need to spend a boatload to develop the most advanced technologies first. Resulting in the U.S. Air Force being the first at virtually everything. Working alongside defense giants such as Lockheed Martin and its Skunk Works division to develop remarkable aircraft. Including the SR-71, the world's fastest aircraft ever. The F-117 and Nighthawk, the world's first stealth jet. The F-22 Raptor, the world's first fifth-generation fighter. And now the world's first sixth-generation fighter, the NGAD fighter. It is clear that the U.S. Air Force has a good history of building quite formidable aircraft, so it's no surprise that their latest is going to be something that could shake the world. So take a stroll back into memory lane to see what the U.S. Air Force's latest toy is born out of. What are some of their most powerful stealth aircraft? The first mention is an aircraft we have already talked about in this video, F-117, a Nighthawk. The F-117, a Nighthawk stealth fighter attack aircraft, was developed by Lockheed Martin after work on stealth technology and the predecessor test demonstrator aircraft, HAV Blue, was carried out in secret from 1975. Development of the F-117 began in 1978 and was first flown in 1981. In 1988, its existence was made public. It was the world's first operational stealth aircraft with a mission to penetrate dense threat environments and attack high-value targets with high accuracy. It has been in service in Panama during Operation Desert Storm, in Kosovo, and in Afghanistan. It was also in service during Operation Iraqi Freedom. Due to the nature of its missions, it is only used for nighttime missions, with its edge profiles optimized to reflect hostile radar into narrow beam signals directed away from the enemy radar detector making it perfect for its purpose. Nighthawk can carry a range of tactical fighter ordnance in the weapons bay, including the Blue 109B low-level laser-guided bomb, GBU-10 and GBU-27 laser-guided bomb units, AGM-65 Maverick, and AGM-88 Harm Air to surface missiles. Another is the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, which is a two-seat twin-engine, long-range supersonic strategic reconnaissance aircraft produced by Lockheed Corporation. It came into service in 1966 with 30 aircraft built. Not only was it the fastest and highest flying conventional aircraft, but it was also a machine designed for strategic reconnaissance roles with massive sensors like the Advances Synthetic Aperture Radar System, the itch camera that coils scan the horizon on each side of the flight path, and two pre-programmable high-resolution cameras. Nicknamed Blackbird for its special overall color scheme that helped dissipate heat and absorb enemy radar emissions, this aircraft was flying three times the speed of sound in a severe thermal environment created due to air friction. The stealthy airframe was designed for a crew of two, a pilot and systems operator. Its airframe was built largely of titanium and stainless steel to deal with the high temperatures created by the air friction at the SR-71's Mach 3 cruising speeds, at heights of over 14 miles. At top speeds, the surface of the plane would heat up to 300 degrees Celsius, and temperatures inside the cabin could reach 120 degrees Celsius. Also on this array of high-profile stealth fighter jets is the B-2 Spirit. This black bat-like jet was the silver bullet of the U.S. policy, reserved for use against targets of the highest priority. Developed as a low observable strategic bomber for the Cold War mission of attacking Soviet strategic targets, it has a minimal IR signature, does not contrail, and uses its shielded APQ-181 radar only momentarily to identify a target just before attacking. The aircraft is usually flown by a crew of two, has a quadruplex redundant digital fly-by-wire system and a highly advanced call-classified electronic warfare system. 
Initially, the Air Force wanted 132 of this bad boy, but due to how expensive that would have been, the fleet was complete with only 21 aircraft. Making its debut in 1999 in Kosovo, it employed the joint direct attack munition and other weapons to great effect. Originally, the B-2 was intended to carry 16 AGM-129 ACM air-launched cruise missile missiles, the first stealth cruise missile with a range of around 1,864 miles, fitted with a variable yield of 5 to 150 kiloton nuclear warheads. This missile was developed keeping in mind that a stealth bomber needs a stealthy missile to be effective against the most advanced Soviet air defense systems. Currently, the B-2 bomber can carry 16 AGM-158 JSM and improved AGM-158B JSM-ER air-launched cruise missiles. Other weapons carried by the B-2 include thermonuclear freefall bombs, penetration bombs, guide bombs as well as AGM-154 CJ Sal Precision Glide Bombs. With these already mentioned powerful aircraft, the USAF list of most powerful stealth aircraft fighters will not be complete without the mention of the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor is an advanced tactical fighter aircraft developed for the U.S. Air Force. It entered service with the USAF in December 2005 to replace the F-15 with an emphasis on agility, stealth, and range. In April 2009, production of the F-22 fighter jet was officially terminated when Defense Secretary Robert Gates announced the Pentagon would end the Lockheed Run F-22 program and increase the production of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The last produced F-22 was delivered in 2012 and 183 F-22 aircraft are currently in service with the U.S. Air Force. The final jet on this array of deadly stealth fighter jets is the Lockheed Martin received a $7 billion five-year contract to maintain the USAF fleet of F-22 Raptor stealth fighters in December 2019. The F-22's configuration is designed to meet VLO criteria, key features including a trapezoidal wing whose angles are repeated on other surfaces to reduce radar signature, canted fins, and an internal weapons bay. The F-22 Raptor has a radar cross-section of 0.0001 meter square. It is similar to that of the F-117 Nighthawk stealth ground attack aircraft and B-2 Spirit stealth strategic bomber. However, the F-22 is a more modern aircraft. It was designed using far more advanced computers and has aerodynamic surfaces while maintaining stealth. The F-22 carries four AIM-120C medium-range air-to-air missiles in its internal weapons bay. These missiles have a range of 65 miles, likely more capable AIM-120D missiles with a range of around 100 miles, and better guidance will be used once these become fully operational within the U.S. Air Force. Initially, the F-22 used the AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles for visual range air combat, up to four of these missiles can be carried. Eventually, these were replaced by the next-generation AIM-9X missiles that were integrated in 2016. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is a stealthy supersonic multi-role fighter developed by Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Company for the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps and program partners from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and U.S. allies. The single seed fighter was designated the F-35 Lightning II in July 2006. The JSF is available in three variants, F-35A, a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, F-35B, a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft, and F-35C, a carrier variant. The generic F-35 is a configuration similar to that of Lockheed Martin's own F-22 design However, it is slightly smaller and has one engine. An aircraft with a single engine is less expensive to produce and service, but at a cost of reduced weapon load and performance. The fighter jet exploits stealth technology, which reduces its radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect for radars. The F-35 multi-role fighter can perform air defense missions, close air support, and tactical bombing. It can carry up to two air-to-air -air missiles 
and two air-to-ground weapons in its internal weapons bay. The F-35 fighter is compatible with the AIM-120 AMRAM, AIM-132 ASRAM, JDAM, JSAL, Brimstone, WCMD, MBDA Meteor, and some other missiles. Additional missiles, bombs, or fuel tanks can be attached to external hardpoints. Wingtip can also carry the AIM-9X Sidewinder, short-range air-to-air missiles. However, external weapons are carried at the expense of being more detectable by radars. In comparison to all of these super-stealth fighter jets, the NGAD still promises to be a much more efficient and all-round powerful fighter jet with a wide range of capabilities that puts it in good condition to succeed in modern-day warfare. Despite its huge cost of production and several speculations about its design and full capabilities, it is still a jet that has and will continue to pique the curiosity of many until the day it is unveiled. With a strong line of stealth fighter jets, such as the NGAD and others discussed in this video, the US is truly becoming a force to be reckoned with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.